Halley's theorem states that every group is isomorphic to a subgroup of a symmetric group. In this video, we will prove Cayley's theorem from the point of view of group actions. First, we will define group actions and permutation representations, and quickly state some related properties and concepts. Then, we will consider a group acting on itself by left multiplication, and use that to prove Cayley's theorem. Let G be a group, and let A be any set. A group action of the group G on the set A is a function from the Cartesian product of G and A to A. The image of the ordered pair G comma A is denoted by G dot A. This function must satisfy two axioms. G sub 1 dot bracket G sub 2 dot A equals bracket G sub 1 G sub 2 dot A for all G sub 1 G sub 2 in G and A in A and 1 dot A equals A for all A in A. This makes the function compatible with the group structure of G. Now consider a fixed element g in g. Define the function sigma sub g from a to a by sigma sub g of a equals g dot a. It is easily shown that sigma sub g is a bijection, that is a permutation of a. So sigma sub g is an element of the symmetric group on a. The inverse of sigma sub g is sigma sub g inverse. In addition, for all g sub 1, g sub 2 in g, sigma sub g sub 2 composed with sigma sub g sub 1 equals sigma sub g sub 1, g sub 2. So the map pi from g to s sub a defined by pi of g equals sigma sub g is a homomorphism. Pi is called a permutation representation of G. And we say that pi is the permutation representation afforded by the action of G on A. Conversely, given any homomorphism from G to S sub A, there is an associated group action of G on A. Thus, a permutation representation of G 
may be defined as any homomorphism from G to a symmetric group. Given an element A in A, the stabilizer of A in G is, the set, is de denoted by G sub A is the set of G in G such that G dot A equals A, that is, the set of elements of G such that sigma sub G fixes A. The kernel of the group action is the set of G in G such that g dot a equals a for all a. That is, the set of elements of g such that sigma sub g is the identity permutation. It is easy to show that the stabilizer of any element of a and the kernel of the action are subgroups of g. And the kernel of the group action is precisely the kernel of the permutation representation of G. And it is clear that the kernel is the intersection of all stabilizers in G. Now define a binary relation on the set A by A is related to B if and only if there exists G in G such that A equals G dot B. We show that this is an equivalence relation. Because a equals 1 dot a for all a, a is related to a and the relation is reflexive. If a is related to b, then a equals g dot b for some g. So b equals g inverse dot a, and b is related to a, hence the relation is symmetric. If a is related to b, and b is related to c, then a equals g dot b, and b equals h dot c for some g and h, then a equals bracket g h dot c, and a is related to c, 
hence the relation is transitive. Thus, the relation is an equivalence relation. Under this relation, the equivalence class containing an element A is the set of G dot A such that G is in G, called the orbit of G containing A. The action of G on A is called transitive if there is only one orbit, that is, for all A, B in A. There exists G in G, such that A equals G dot B. Now consider the case where A equals G. So G is acting on itself, and the action is defined by G dot A equals G A. It is easy to check that this satisfies the definition of a group action. This action is known as left multiplication. Now, if we think of the elements of G as cosets of the trivial subgroup, then we can generalize left multiplication to G acting on the set of cos left cosets of any subgroup. So now A becomes the set of left cosets of a subgroup H. And the action is defined by G dot A H equals A H equals G A H. Now we prove a result of which Cayley's theorem is a corollary. Let H be a subgroup of G and let G act on the set of left cosets of H by left multiplication. We show that this action is transitive and the stabilizer of the coset 1H is the subgroup H. AH and BH are any cosets of H, then AH equals AB inverse dot BH. So the action is transitive. The stabilizer of 1H is the set of G in G such that G dot 1H equals 1H. And since G dot 1H equals GH, this becomes the set of G in G such that GH equals H, which is equal to H. Now Cayley's theorem follows easily. Returning to the case where G acts on itself by left multiplication, and again thinking of the elements of G as cosets of the trivial subgroup, we have a permutation representation 
from G to S sub G. And by the result, we have just proved the stabilizer of the identity is the trivial subgroup. And since the kernel of the permutation representation is contained in any stabilizer, the kernel must be trivial. So this permutation representation is injective. Hence G is, a, is isomorphic to a subgroup of S sub G, completing the proof. Cayley's theorem suggests that we can study all groups simply by studying symmetric groups. But this is, this is impractical because studying a group of order n would imply studying the much larger group S sub n. On the other hand, G acting on let's say left cosets of H by left multiplication has several applications such as improving that there is no simple group of a certain finite order. In addition to groups acting on groups, we can also let groups act on other algebraic structures, leading to many results on both the groups and the structures that they act on. 